What's going on everyone? My name is Robert. Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I talked about how I was using this property to host an Airbnb. And as many of you guys know, whoever's been keeping up with my videos lately, they know that I've been doing this. And for those of you who think, you know, this is too far fetched of an idea for you to attempt, let me just show you a way that you guys can use to analyze information and look at properties in your area and come to a conclusion with what you know what area you want to use as your key location for your Airbnb rental. The cool thing about this is that you have the option to use useful softwares like AirDNA, which is the one I'm going to show you guys today, to look at properties, scrape the data off Airbnb's website, and pretty much see everything that's going on, all the all the revenue, all the the percentage of the nights booked. Pretty much have full access to your competition and the area that you want to start. This is a very helpful tool because it helps you sort of have an understanding of what you're getting into before you make the, the money commitment. The biggest risk you're taking on is signing the lease if you're not going to be owning the property that you're renting out of. And this helps you eliminate risk and it helps you you know stay profitable as far as knowing your property is going to generate income, knowing it gets booked, uh, etc. So I'm going to jump into the AirDNA website with you guys. I'm going to go over what you should look for. I'll show you how it'll help you find properties that are in a good location that bring cash flow and stay away from properties that could potentially, you know, be a big liability and take your business to the ground. Without further ado, let's jump into AirDNA and I'll show you guys what to look for. So yada yada, whatever, log in. Once you get into their, you know, their dashboard, you can see here that you have access to pretty much whatever city of choice that you want to host in. And I'm, I pulled up my own city. So I pulled up Springfield, Missouri. And I pulled up the zip code, the postal code for the area that my Airbnb is located. And I'll show you guys what sort of helped me determine whether or not I should host in this area, whether it would be good, you know, for cash flow or not. And it's cool just having something like this because you sort of know what you're getting into beforehand. You're not just making the risk. I had someone comment the other day, what do you do when your property is empty and nobody's staying there? Like, how do you, how's that generating cash flow? Well, the thing about it is <laughs> the business model works so well that only a few nights a month will generate you enough cash flow to cover rent. So what I'm doing, this is called rental arbitrage. And in a way you can compare it to drop shipping. It's like retail arbitrage. You know, you're using products, outsourcing them, and you're running a business completely hands off. This is exactly the same way, except for you're generating a lot more in rental income than you would be Traditionally, you're just seeing how big of a cash flow machine this actually is when it's working in full force and you're doing everything right. You get on uh, AirDNA, you can see here like the average nightly rate in my area is $123 a night and the occupancy rate is 60%, almost 60%, which is really good considering, you know, that's that's quite a few days out of the month that you're going to be booked. So you sort of have an idea of what goes on here. So the revenue is going anywhere from 900 a month to 2500 a month and this is only on Airbnb's website. And what you want to do, you want to go to top properties. Once you find the area that you would be interested in hosting in, you'll go to top properties. And as you can see here, it shows you the annual revenue for what these properties are doing. It shows you the average nightly rate and it shows you the reviews for whoever stayed here you know that they gave you a review. So you want to use this is the first thing I would look at before you do any other analysis. You just want to find the top property and you can do this with various different zip codes or postal codes in your area, but just look for an area that has the highest annual revenue. Once you find that you'll sort of get an idea of what does well in your city or your town. So let's say you own the property and you're only renting out for 800 a month because that's what about the average rent here in my area is it doesn't go over a thousand, like a thousand is really nice properties. So I live in an area where real estate and renting and all that's pretty cheap. So let's say you have this property, right? This Galloway place, and you're renting it out for 800 a month. You'd only be bringing in $12,000 a year on that property with the traditional form of renting. But with Airbnb, you're now able to double that and almost triple it, bringing in almost $40,000. And this kind of gives you an idea of what does well. And you can literally look into these properties, look at all the photos, see what's doing well, see what's performing well. And it shows you exactly where they're located. Right here you can see if I click on, you know, any of these houses, it'll show you exactly what's going on. Like, you know, the photos here, you can see it's pulled up on Airbnb's website and you can, it gives you a direct link to that listing. 
And so I think this is where you guys need to look first of all and see what's doing the highest amount of annual revenue and sort of see how you can incorporate your business into something like this, right? You don't have to just start randomly guessing what will do well. You have a full list of properties that are performing rather well in my opinion. Other things that you can sort of gauge with this software, you can do like a rental analysis and it'll give you sort of an idea of the active listings in your area. So one thing I want to show you that's really cool, it gives you an entire uh, market analysis. That's literally what you use as your market analysis tool. So I always mention, you know, I, I did a market analysis before I got into the business. And this shows you sort of what's going on with Airbnb in your area. And one thing I want to point out here is from 2017 to 2018, the growth, it's, it's been, it's seen the largest amount of growth in people hosting. So that's something that I want to make very clear to you guys. Like the more time you don't act on this, the higher the chance of you entering a saturated market. And that's just, that's just the fact of the matter. I'm glad I, I started it and I'm, I'm glad I have a, a solid plan on what I'm going to do with this business. And I think you guys know if, if you're curious or if you want to get involved in the Airbnb business model, definitely check out AirDNA and see what they have to offer for your local area. It'll help you sort of gauge what does well. And I would look at top properties. That's what I would use as far as determining or where I want to host an Airbnb. All right, you guys, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you are serious about getting started with this business model, be sure to check out this software. It's it is so helpful and I think it'll give you an understanding of how much cash flow is actually generated through Airbnb's business model. So everyone that sort of is skeptical about it or they think it doesn't work, it clearly does. And this is just another form of concrete evidence that it does. So I'm just here to educate you guys and inform you guys on this very lucrative opportunity. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and be sure to share this with anyone I think could use this information or sees this as valuable. I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for today's video and I'll see you in the next one.